Ah, uh, hello, 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 hello. Um, same day that I finished um, Uncharted One, Drake's Fortune, and now I'm gonna start up Among Thieves. It is currently 9:50 on a Thursday night. It is June first. Tomorrow I have school, so I'm only gonna play for like an hour or two. Probably two, to be honest. Uh, actually, no, no one because I still need a shower. If it was 9, I would play 2, but it's 9.50, so I can only play like an hour and 10. Then I'll take a shower. There you go. Try to Among Thieves. Wait, why? Why? Why is that there? Why, uh... Why is that statue there? That's not the same one, is it? <laughs> I be that better not be the... That better not be the same one. That's not the same one, is it? <laughs> There's gonna be no more bullshit, right? <laughs> they wouldn't do that, right? Also, apparently, Blue Point made this the remaster for them. I didn't. I just realized. I, I literally right now. I while opening the game, I saw Blue Point. Oh, would you look at that? How about I saw? For I knew I would not be believed. Marco Polo on his deathbed, thirteen twenty-four. What in the fuck? Exactly, what is going on? Yeah, these, these these graphics look a lot more recent. Hold on, just to make sure mic is good, not muted in this Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, everything's good, everything's good, everything's good. That's my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh lord. So is it gonna be like two days earlier or some shit? No? We're starting straight off here. Okay, a rock and a hard place. Wow, okay. That's a boulder. Oh, Lord. So I'm guessing he's climbing slow because he's injured. Okay. How is this thing still even hanging on after getting hit by two boulders? Oh, that just—that's just annoying. Are we gonna get a days earlier, or we're, we're just—it's gonna be cock and balls inside? Like, here, here you go. Here's the action. Here's the game. Fucking play it. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we just okay. We, we just came back to the place where we were. It, it, the second we get up there, it's gonna break. Yep, what I say, what I fucking say. 
the second we get on top, this whole thing that's been hanging on this whole time is gonna fall. What I say? What I fucking say? What I fucking say? Nathan, fucking run! Run, Nathan! Nathan! <laughs> Put yourself up, come on. You can definitely tell that a few years and a little bit of success happened from this to the- Look, it looks so, it looks so much better than the first one, what the fuck? Even though they got remasters, they'll probably get remakes at some point as well. What's that? Wait, no? That looks so much like Sam, what the fuck? You, mate. Uh -oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. No, he's... No, is, is, he, is he, like, British? Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. Adam, listen. Yeah. Yeah. You're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, no. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone, it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. Oh, her name. Chloe Fraser. Yeah, that. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Alright, look. I've got it all figured out. So go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. <laughs> no one asked. <laughs> but that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? He's either British or Australian, just by the mate. From the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia. Kublai! I don't know who that is. One ship left. But. <laughs> 18 passengers. But, uh. Recorded every detail of I already forgot his fucking name. But the guy in Gozushima mentioned him. Because he was grandson of Genghis, cousin of Kublai. I don't know if the Khan from Gozushima is canon or not. I just know that the raid was canon. Historically, if he was actually a person that existed. And it was actually his name. I'm not, I don't really know about that. I already forgot his name. Genghis Kublai. We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. Hold on. You in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? All, all of it. All of it could go wrong.
Is the villain a ghost of Tsushima real? Okay, so... Okay, so Shimura and then Jin are completely fictional characters. Okay, I get that. Is Kotun Khan a real-life person? Or is that also like they just invented it? Because, quote, a bit pen like, Genghis had a lot of children, right? Like, there's even a crazy stat that a lot of people nowadays had, like, one in, like, a hundred are his descendants or some shit like that. Is Kotun Khan real? I'm going to say no. There's no Mongol leader known as Kotun Khan, although Genghis Khan featured fathered a vast number of children and grandchildren. Estimates suggest 0.5% of the world's current population is descended from him. You know how crazy that is? There's no record of him having a grandson named Kotun. So it might just it might just be like, you know, something that they invented. Which is fine, you know. Especially when <laughs> he had a lot of children. But... So who does the... If he's the grand... If he's supposed to be the grandfather of Koden when the raid... So he, it, Genghis won't be around for like Ghost of Shima 2, right? It'll probably be someone else, another Khan. Because that's what everybody thinks, right? That the second Ghost of Tsushima will be in the mainland. I mean, there's no way PlayStation doesn't release a, a Ghost of Tsushima 2. It just did so well. It's such a good game as well. I, I would love something Infamous related. Even a remaster or a remake of the first two. Yes, the first two. Not just one of them, the first two. Yeah, a remaster like this. Just put out the first and the second one, a remaster. And I would play them. Oh, fucking fine. Fucking chain mechanics. Oh, for fuck's sake. Three shots for a chain. So continue to give me a pistol and you Oh lord, that's Karma's a bitch. <laughs> okay. Oh I do have to climb. I just I just randomly <laughs> Okay, it did work. Alright, hopefully no zombies in this one. I, I don't see anything wrong with uh, Treasures and Uncharted having something mythical about them because, because you know, treasure hunting with mythical ha things happening with them is cool, but I don't want enemies that spawn in mass do go and go in for melee damage and kill you in two hits. I don't enjoy that. Okay. So Chloe is the girl in the movie, right? Because Elena is not in the movie. I think it's her. And I have her skin on Fortnite because I bought the Uncharted pack like last year, some sometime last year, and I and she's in it. And I think she's one of the pro one of the protagonists in the in, in the other Uncharted game, the one after four. The one where it's her, well, so Nad fun, Nadine, and you Sam. What the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about Uncharted. Easy. Oh, you're not jealous. Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Yeah, the lost legacy. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. It's when Nadine and her. He was actually on to something. I thought you'd want to be in. Which I will play after I finish the first three. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist. 
We find the ships and we make off with the treasure. So what happened? Did he ever explain what happens between the first and the second one? And we split the take three ways and you Because just Nathan had a thing going on with Elena on the second one. And in the third one, it seems like they they have like relationship issues. I don't I, I don't remember too much about Elena in the third one, but I do remember her being there a lot. And in the fourth one, they're just married because in the third, I remember that in the end of the third one, they kind of make up. So I wonder if Chloe is probably playing both of them. Because first they were working with each other and then like they're plotting, but she's working also with Flynn. So I feel like she's using both of them. I feel like that's what's gonna well, that's what's gonna like end up turning up at the end that she used both of them. She's gonna end up being for the streets, unless she was on Nathan's side. But uh, I don't think that will happen. I'm gonna be real with you, and I say for the streets because you know, because clearly she's with him, with Nathan, like doing things. But apparently she was also doing things with him, right? Because she says mostly professional. So that kind of implies something, you know? So... Because... Unless it, unless it isn't... And then it just turns out that the relationship that Nathan had with her was just like some, just, just a passing relationship before he gets back with Elena. Or something, I don't know, you know, I'm just gonna, why don't I just play the game and start speculating, stop speculating. Stop trying to predict the story. <laughs> I just weirded out, you know, because it seems that he and Elena were, had a thing going, and then it's like, oh, now they don't. But then in three, I remember them like having interactions. I don't know. That's why I want to replay it as well because I don't remember a lot of it. I just remember bald dude, Charlie, that's his name, uh, uh, Sullivan, obviously, and there was another chick as well, but I forgot who that was. Sure Maybe it was her, and I just don't remember. Did that say four months earlier or four days? I should have paid attention. We have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. Huh. This way. So what do we do if they switch the... Hold on. Hold on, I'm uh... It's my nephew's birthday, I just remembered. <laughs> Oh, he, he told me, uh, yesterday, but, uh, but I forgot. Hold on, I'm gonna mute myself real quick.
I just said that, uh, All right. Trolls, figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble, I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here chum. is me. I, remember, I think he is Australian. The only way into the exhibit, but we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. Yeah, because I, I remember Charlie's name because they mentioned him in four. See you on the other side. Because, looking forward to it. Because Nathan is like, "Oh, how about we call Charlie?" And then Sam's like, "No, no, no. I like Charlie. Charlie was cool. Hopefully, they, they he's involved sure in a future Uncharted game." Also, I don't know why they ended the the uh, Nathan's legacy. You know, like me and everything, everybody else, they just wanted Nathan to keep going on more adventures, forever and ever. Or maybe, you know, it'll be Sam, like which days, is fine. Yeah. I, wouldn't man, I wouldn't mind games uh, with Sam as the protagonist. I actually like Sam. I'm supposed to jump down there, right? Yeah. Why wasn't he giving me the fucking option earlier? What? <laughs> I kept holding right, and the game was like, yeah, nah. Yeah, I, I, I just finished playing the other one. You don't have to tell me this shit. <laughs> oh, wait. This can't be right. We must have made a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> hey, now what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? And from there, we're in. Yeah, in like Flynn, right? What? In like Flynn. I don't get it. Just give me a boost. What? <laughs> I mean, in like... Wh what? Here it comes. <laughs> I don't get it either. Thanks. Also, this is probably a terrible idea, improvising. Like, oh, Moyes made a wrong turn, so let's look for the right turn. We're probably gonna end up... We're probably gonna end up in the middle of the fucking second courtyard. Or not. Or we're gonna get exactly where the original idea was. We're good. First treasure of the game! Oh, there you go. First treasure. Find one treasure. Byzantine coin, is that what it was? I, I just I just read Byzantine. <sighs> Where was I supposed to go? This is the only thing I don't like about Uncharted games. Especially in, thir in the third one, there's this one time where I was in one room, and, and, I, and I'll recognize it when I start playing it, and I'll even mention it. I was in a room fucking stuck. I was like, where the fuck am I supposed to go? And then after like a solid 15 to 20 minutes, if not even longer, I found the, um, I found where you had to climb. I was, I was, because he just put you in a room. They're like, all right, good luck. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I dropped it down for you. All right, thank you. 
Yeah, so I still, I still, I still don't know if he's British or or Australian. Right. Surely Australian. Chum. I th is that something they say? Well, we're not going this way. Not if you want to keep your skin. <clears throat> I don't right. want it. There's got to be a shutoff valve around here somewhere. See if you can find it then. <sighs> I don't want my skin. We can go through there. The fuck is that? Glass evil eye. I've seen this before. I, I, I've seen that before. That, like, design. That's supposed to be common or something? I don't even fucking know. Uh, where am I going? I noticed. Let's drop. <laughs> One of these pipes has to fucking break. Ain't no way they're all surviving all these jumps from two fully grown adult men. <laughs> That have to have at least some muscle, considering. Oh yeah, it's basically a guarantee that have muscle. With how much they can climb. Okay, now there should be a door just around this corner. That's our access point. Once we're through, just stick to the plan. You got me? Tell me you didn't miss this. <laughs> I'm here, aren't I? locked good job I came prepared <laughs> I pick more than my nose my friend oh, wait there's an alarm oh, that's new since last time oh, great now what well I can disarm it if we can find the junction box so they came in here before it's got to be around here somewhere okay let's follow the is there even a cable to follow yes there is Another treasure, oh, they're already damn. What is this? Ottoman ring. All, all I really, all I, all I can remember about the name Ottoman is that there was an empire, wasn't there? There's like an Ottoman Empire. That's the only thing I can remember from that. <laughs> right here. Flip the switch. There, that ought to do it. All right, we're in. I, I'm in the same room. You don't have to use the radio. <laughs> I'm been right behind you. Will you knock his ass out? Lights out. Also, there's stealth in this game. Huh. Because he had 89 stealth kill. Or is that even a kill or is that just stealth? I don't, I don't even know what that I just said it, it just the, the counter went out. Yeah. But we can only get to it from the roof and we can't get to the roof from here. We're going to have to make our way to the next courtyard through that gate over there. Well, let's do it. Such your bitch ass up. We've got to get up to that balcony. We can climb the gate over here. Got it. Gece var diye aslında çalışmaktan nefret ediyorum. I've got the other one. Haklısın abi. Hiçbir şey olmuyor. Bazen o kadar canım sıkılıyor ki. What do you mean you got the other one? Where's it just supposed to go? That <laughs> just sounded like a a tremendous slap. 
just knocked this ass out in one hit. That's crazy. Come on, what are you waiting for? I'm waiting for the fucking camera to come back. That's what I'm waiting for. Snap! Nah, I'm just choking him out. Was he whistling while I was choking him out? Some crazy dedication to your whistling right there. Where in the, where in the fuck am I supposed to go? Feel like I'm supposed to do something here? Beat his ass. This up, sneak right under. Whoa, whoa, not so fast. There's another alarm. Ah, oh, great. You want to get this one? Wait here. What the fuck? Lazy ass motherfucker. Which one am I supposed to follow? Okay. That's crazy. That's mad dark, and I can't even fucking see. It's up there. Okay, how do I get up there? Oh, can I climb the gate? Yeah. All right. What do you mean, I'll just let you do all the ass kicking? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? As in, you expect me to do all the stealth? Now we just gotta find a way up to that window. Which window? There's a lot of bloody windows. Why, why did he make that question if he was going to guess the correct one immediately? What? What was the point in that dialogue? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ain't no way that fucking guy didn't just see us. <laughs> Bro said, you know what, I'm not even going to bother. Now what? It's just the wind. It, it, isn't that a thing that they say in fucking Skyrim? 
Just the wind. Oh, that's where it's come from, guns. right? What are you thinking? Relax, Gandhi. They're tranquilizer guns. Totally non-lethal. Your conscience will remain unscathed. Even after the thousands of deaths you've already committed in the okay. first game. Great. Hundreds. Okay. A bit of advice. Was it a thousand? Did I even reach a thousand ways. kills? I don't know. Close. Probably. You okay with that? <laughs> Nathan has killed so many fucking people. I want to shoot a gun, genius. Let's take these guys out. Bunlar ne ki zaten? Eski sergi. It's too far. Damn it. Okay. All right, let's take these guys out. Oh. All right, cool. All right, let's take these guys out. We got to get up to that walkway. This could help. What? What could help? Oh. Thank you, because the, the game doesn't tell me that. With wheels. This is very <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Lord. That'll work. I remember shit bugs out like that. It just makes... There, when I was going for the Platinum on Ghost of Tsushima, there was, like, one time where I hit, where I like hit someone with the sword, and it bounced me, like, we'll ten feet room. in the air. It was it. mad funny as well. Good thing one of us thought ahead, eh? Oh, yours. How is that thing grabbing onto... <laughs> you know what? That's not questioning. <laughs> Can I fucking move now? Why would... What? You to drop, thank you. Oh, can Nathan make that? Yes, he can. He ain't got no baby bitch jumps anymore like the first one. Look at look at that jump! It's her. The first one with this little baby bitch jump that I probably couldn't do, but still. <laughs> you have to time it at the perfect moment. You have to time it like right like on the edge of the fucking of the thing before you oh, fall off or else you just won't make it it was like it felt like there was like five jumps like that appreciate that update captain obvious the other jumps that were like you know more chill i'm not Well, the camera angle immediately is. Unless you're talking to yourself. So, Flynn, are you giving us advice or are you just talking to yourself? Oh, I feel like one of the bricks is gonna fucking break and then we're just gonna fall in the middle of everything. What what I fucking say? I just said this! You put on weight, buddy. Oh, shit, that was close. Alright, no more donuts for you. What I fucking say, I felt like one of these was gonna fucking break. Obviously it wasn't a brick and he didn't completely fall, but... 
It's still, it was close. So it's basically like, all right, if, if, if the rope is not strong enough to hold my weight, and you fall, you're the one that dies, not me, the one who put up the rope. I'm right behind you, as always. Hey yo, what is that supposed to mean? Looking at Nathan Drake's ass from back there. What? What? Well, what? That guy just died. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? That impact from the water from all the way to up here would have fucking knocked him out. I don't know how he actually began to swim. That's crazy. Am I supposed to do something? Or am I supposed to shoot that guy? Surely not. What? The fuck am I supposed to do? Yeah, great view. I can see your house. Let's get moving. There's a guard right below you. Oh, it's gonna break again. And this time we're actually gonna fall. Some Something has to go down. Ain't no way the whole mission goes fine. Or not. Shit. We can't get any closer with the tower lit up like that. What the hell's she doing? Come on, Chloe. <laughs> That's my girl. Yeah, she's both of your girls from the looks of it. Yeah, so I feel like Chloe is just using them. Okay. We're clear. Ladies first. <laughs> Cute. Go. Something's gonna happen. The alarm is gonna go off or something. Oh, there it is. Yeah, and there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off if we so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> Alright. Alarm. Sure there has gone. to be something. I guess there's only one way to find out. They're gonna break it. Sorry, Marco. <laughs> Crap. Alarm. Well, that's the of the year. Guards. This is it. The guards it's are gonna come in. Genghis. Wait a minute. Genghis. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. What? Is that really a good idea in here? And?
Blue fire! Ooga, hooga, smooga. What am I saying? Our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere so either Flynn is also going to betray us or he's going to be a good guy and then he just ends up dying. The closest landmark where they went aground. Hopefully he's good. You know. Good work, mate. Wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shembala. The curse of the Chintamani. Would that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone... Run! ...might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. How, wait, did the room get dark? What are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Uh, come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you going to do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. <laughs> You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flynn, listen. Face it, genius. You've been played. Why, though? Uh -uh, not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right? That's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? No, yes, I'm going to kill you. No, 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 no! Okay, now I'm screwed. Alright, alright. Think, Nate, think. Also, so then why would... Why would why would Nathan even agree to work with him again? What? No! I'm killing you! A straight bullet to the head! What? What do you mean? Get out of here. There we go. Gotta get to that ladder. See you, suckers. There's gonna be people here as well, isn't there? What I fucking say? What did I fucking say? You overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? Hey, hey, hey! Jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How are you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, I had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money. And a good chunk of my own, but hey. Ah. Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, a uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Hear her out. Nah. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Ooh. Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first now, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole for Listen, the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. Why just leave? He's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate, 
They found the ships. Cool, good for them. In Borneo. Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Bazarovich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. All right, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're going to get us into that dig site. Why? You're going to snatch that treasure right out from under them. Why? What? Payback's a bitch. Look. They called it the wish fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue. Either Roger she's good or she's gonna fuck uh, she's gonna fuck Nathan in the ass by the end of the game. Like, oh I need to make my own money and then just like kick him and then grab all of him and leave or some shit like that. Well if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. If I can get a look at Lazarovich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be an inside job. From someone they know and trust. Oh. Okay, I see where this is going. I just need a diversion. You give me five minutes in that tent, that's all it'll take. Really? Five minutes? Well, that's great. I won't even have to get my top off. Chloe, I was thinking more like an explosion. Or that can be arranged. Are you in? Oh, hell yes. I was in before you were. What I would do is I would buy a nuclear bomb and Chloe, throw it on everybody and, and then peacefully put on a suit for radiation <laughs> And go in there and loot. How about it? Good idea? I'm pretty sure that's a good idea. <laughs> I don't trust her. I don't. Nathan's gonna get fucked in the ass again. Here it is. I also left the detonator for you. Uh huh. There we are. All right. First one set. Don't touch the button. This one? <laughs> I feel like Flynn told Chloe to go get Nate so Nate could figure it out for them. Is that what's gonna happen? Like, oh, go get Nate, and then Nate will do it, and then Nate will come on by, and then Nate will do it, and then we'll be and then you'll betray Nate, and then we'll take the treasure for ourselves, and then she's in on it, and then Flynn betrays her. So then it's kind of like an Eddie thing with Chloe, where you fight together because you know. You're in a tough spot, or some bullshit like that. Oh, uh, it's gonna be so shit. Okay, what? 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 I don't have to be careful. Well, I just did. You wanna know why? Cause I'm going in for the kill! That's why. I'm not trying to do no bitch boy stealth. Not in Uncharted. Come on, pick me. Pick me. there maybe you can all right hold on grandpa see if i can find another way up all i know is that some bullshit's gonna go down i 
I wonder if there's any mention of Elena in this one, or none at all until the third one. Ah, perfect. This way. Thanks, kid. Nate, you should be approaching excavation site one by now. They should have been back by now. Shit, we've been spotted. Take them out fast. We can't let them send word back to town. Oh lord. <laughs> See, this, this is why I actually enjoy combat in Uncharted, unlike Last of Us. Because everybody drops fucking ammo! And not like an Unchar of not in fucking Last of Us, where everybody's carrying guns with limited ammo, and they can't even drop a single fucking bullet. I'm sorry, but Uncharted, I mean, Last of Us 2 combat with Ellie, I, 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 I didn't like it. It was pain. I enjoyed the Abby part so much more in gameplay because they actually gave her ammo and her guns were better, at least for me they were. What about him? Who the fuck cares? I'm killing all of you, you sons of bitches! What does that say in the top right? I'm just finding them. Wait, what? Oh. I thought that would drop down the ladder, I guess not. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, so what? <laughs> Come on, kid, quit screwing around. We haven't armed all the charges yet. Oh. We still gotta arm three of the charges. Wait, what the fuck are you talking about, bud? Should be only two left. All right, one more, and we're out of here. This is a whole setup. I just know it is. Okay, that's all of it. If Chloe ends up betraying us, I just know I won't like her when I'm playing the Lost Legacy one. I'll only be looking forward to Sam and even Nadine. I don't like Nadine. 
And probably because she beat the ass of, you know, my favorite protagonist. Even though Nathan has been giving hands for years. I know she's a trained martial artist, but still, come on. Nathan, Nathan has also been a combat um, participant for years, you know? So I feel like... I feel like it was cool that she was beating his ass. But then when Sam came in and she was still beating both her asses, it was like, okay. We have two we have three experienced fighters here. One of them knows martial arts, but the other two were like they aren't fucking rookies, you know? But it's like whatever, you know. I just didn't like that single part where she was just beating both of their asses. When it was Nathan, it was like, oh okay, cool. But then it was both of them, and I was like, bruh. <laughs> well, I guess Sam was kind of in jail for a lot of years. Straight uppercut. Yeah, you were doing fine. Yeah. Here's another one for you. Sully. <laughs> Back of the school. What does frivolity mean? Yeah, what the fuck? I don't know either shit. What do you bet we follow the hose? We find the camp. You always follow the hose. Hey like yo! You're never gonna forget that, are you? You always follow the hose, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, it is 10:53. We, we just finished that uh, third chapter. Uh, next time I play is obviously tomorrow, and I'll play a lot more because I'm actually enjoying it a lot so far. Uh, obviously, <laughs> story-wise, you're like, why? You, you, the last time you got involved with her, you got fucked over, and now you're doing it again. I feel like she's gonna fuck us over, but then she's gonna get fucked over, so then they're gonna work together. So then it's gonna be like, oh, wow, you're you're liking her now, because she also got screwed over, even though she put you here in the first place. Unless it isn't, and she turns out to be a good person. Because uh, none of them are good people. <laughs> um... But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to finishing up this game. After this, Uncharted 3, and then Lost Legacy, and then I'll probably finally go back to Horizon and Gotham Knights. <laughs> uh, I do want to play them, and I have fun. But now I'm just scared that it's been so long that I forgot to come back, <laughs> which I probably have. The only thing I don't like about Horizon is that maybe I'm just doing something wrong. But whenever I fight the big enemies, they have so much fucking health. They have so, and they do so much damage. I'm probably doing something wrong, aren't I? I probably am. Because there's like well, that one raid, and there's like big fucking monster, and I can't have to go running and running and running. And the traps are expensive to make, like the like the electric ones and whatever. And they don't even do anything that crazy, you know? I don't know. That's like that's the only reason I haven't continued it, because. They have a crazy amount of health, and a cr and they're fast. That motherfucker was fast. And then, when it comes to Gotham Knights, I'm gonna be honest, the combat was fucking mid. But I am gonna finish it. I promise I will. Um... I said I was gonna continue Genshin as well. Uh, and I probably will. But... Try to just play it on my own. It's because I, I found out that it's just a gotcha thing again. But then at some point, it it, it gets hard. It, it's actually getting harder now. And I don't have the best units, you know? And even though I'm appropriately leveled up, the missions, they still do a lot of damage. Um, it feels kind of like in Fortnite Save the World, which I'm playing recently, but in Fortnite Save the World, you still have a shit ton of health. 
so it's fine. But in but if, so also something else that I, I found out like uh, like a few months back or even I don't even know, but it was like in the last few months uh, that apparently Genshin is kind of like a Zelda gameplay ripoff ish, like they copied it, right? So if it's similar, then I know I'll like Zelda, especially since everybody praises it. Hopefully I'll understand it. Hopefully I'll enjoy them as well. Because I'm kind of taking a risk because I could just get Mario games because I know I'll like them because I played the ori- the only one I've actually played is the like the, the originals. Uh, I haven't played any of the newer ones, but and I know I would enjoy the newer ones even a lot more because uh, Odyssey looks dope. I, uh, there's like this other one. What was that other one? Super Mario. I, I forgot what it was called, but it also looks dope. It was it, it, I think it re-released with bowser's fury i think it's like a package and i think it's a re-release from a wii u i forgot what it's called but that one looks dope they just look cool but they're all they all cost money and nintendo doesn't have a fucking monthly subscription that lets you play the older games which they should but they won't they won't they'll just they'll continue to sell it as, as the full price um, but I feel like they should, you know, because they let you play, they let you play the original fucking ones, if, but I thought paying for it for the monthly thing, because I didn't even play, I, the only thing I had was Monster Hunter Rise, it's the only game that I have, and Jump Force, and, and Jump Force, I got to the final boss, it's fucking bullshit, I didn't finish it, I didn't finish Jump Force, because the final boss is bullshit, I looked it up, it's bullshit, everybody agrees that it's bullshit, I remember I, one time I got like half his health down because I was fucking sweating and he fucked me up and I just decided, no, I'm good. I'll, I'll just not do this, you know? And then, um, Monster Hunter Rise, I'm stuck in a fucking, I'm still stuck in the same gate mission. I've been, I've been retrying it. I retried it like two or three times over the past week. I, I I might just look up how to fucking do it. I'm not gonna lie, cause I like Monster Hunter, but those fucking raid gate missions are fucking trash. They're trash. I'd rather fight Nergigante for the first time again and have him make me rage quit, you know, and then get over the monster, you know, get better, get better loot, hunt. But. It's this fucking thing that concentrates on the gate and then it like summons a bunch of rocks and it shoots them to the gate. Even when you try to fight it directly, it does a bunch of damage. You try to use a, one of the fucking weapons, it does a bunch of fucking damage. It's, I don't, I don't like it, you know? Maybe I'll just look up how to do it and then I'll, uh, I'll just use a guy to be honest. I can't be bothered. I, I'm just chatting about games right now. And then obviously Dying Light 2. And Cyberpunk, I kind of wish I got them on the Xbox so I can play them on the monitor. Because Dying Light, I don't mind playing here, but Cyberpunk, oh lord. Whenever I, I whenever I was in that fucking car sequence, my aim was, I was like, oh sh- I can't aim for shit. But I will eventually get to Cyberpunk uh, as well. But probably during that July, August period when I'm not playing anything. Unless I fall in love with Final Fantasy and I just platinum it or some shit. Or maybe I just find that as a great game and then finish it before June even ends because it comes out June fir- I mean June 21st. So I should finish it by July. Um, but uh, unless I fall in love with it and then I just play the shit out of it. And during July and August, I'm going to be playing a bunch of other games. But obviously right now... Right now that June 1st, before June 21st, I want to play through this, 3, and Lost Legacy. Tomorrow, I'm going to play a bunch of this, and then, uh... Yeah, I'll probably finish this by Sunday, to be honest. And then during that next week, I'll play the, I'll play through the third one. And then exam week, I probably won't play anything. And then, like, the week right before fi- the, final fi- the Final Fantasy comes out, I'll probably be playing Lost Legacy. That's probably how I'm gonna 
play through this uh play through these uncharted games but yeah that's about it uh pop 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 peace oh look exactly 11 wow and now it's 11 one bro